In this video, I show how to draw sections with the Plan 7 Architect software. I have opened a house here, an example house. This is what it looks like in 3D mode. I'm going to go into construction mode and click cross section here. Now I create a section by clicking once on the left and then once on the right of the house. The cut is also automatically caught so that it runs parallel to the house. And once I've clicked, the editing options appear. Here I can adjust the label and the scale. Here I can choose which points should be displayed and which should not. And up here it is important that if you select display shading with border, then the textures will also be displayed in the section. Most of the time, this is not desired. If you want to have a black and white section, then click on Covered Borders. This is how sections are usually made for blueprints. On Viewable Layer, I can choose which layers to show or not. Here I can also show and hide floors. Under Depth, I can choose whether a cut should have a certain depth or not. I click on OK, and my section is created in black and white. And I can't edit it yet. I can click on it here, but I can't edit it. The section is created under 2D Views here as 2D View AA, and you can always select and click on it. Currently, this section is connected to the project. This means that if I change something on the project, for example, remove a car and then click on 2D views, then you don't see at first that something has changed. That's why I have to press refresh and the car is gone. This means that the section is still connected to the project. When you are done with the planning at the end, you can break the section into parts by clicking on explode. Yes. Now the section is resolved into individual lines and I can edit it individually and set things. For example, I can also remove this car. I can remove different lines and adjust everything the way I want it to be either printed out or copied into a blueprint. And I can also export this section as PDF or DXF or just copy it now and paste it into another view. But what I can also do is to dimension it. I click on dimensions and then on distance and can create different dimensions. And when I'm done dimensioning, I press escape on the keyboard. And I can, for example, now create exactly such a dimension below. And I can also measure height. With this function, I can now measure the height. And then I can dimension different points like this by clicking on those points. 